Welcome, and thank you for joining us for another one of Mike and Billy's Whiskey Reviews. This is Billy. Uh, and I'm Mike, and today we bring you Town Batch Bourbon. Branch. Town Branch, forgive me, bourbon. 40% ABV. Billy, tell us more. There's an important reason why it's called Town Branch. Most of you didn't grow up in Appalachia. Appalachia, our grandparents called the creek, or the crick, the branch. Not to be confused with the branch. Because there's accents involved. So, that means a waterway, probably a small one. It dried up, the one that we're sp specifically talking about dried up years ago. Town branch? However, yes. However, some snarky fellow who probably listens to NPR and drives a Volkswagen found out this history and said, Hey Mike, I found out about this town branch. It runs through Lexington a hundred years ago or two hundred years ago. Let's open this distillery. I'm going to be honest with you. I picked this for a reason. I picked this for a reason. These guys, and we're picking on you right now, because we haven't done a, <laughs> we have not done a bourbon review. In a minute. For we're, how long? We're going to bring you more bourbons, though. Are we? Whatever. It's really his channel. But kind of Anyway, so these guys are like, hey, let's open a distillery, because that's what everybody's doing. So they opened their doors in 2012. Mm, young. Young whiskey. No age statement. Wonder why. Well, you only be aged two years in America to be called a bourbon. I think to be a bourbon, it's 36 months. I could be wrong. I think, because I'm the bourbon guy. Whatever. So, they opened this place, and this is literally, I think, their first into the market product. First whiskey. Bourbon. Bourbon. Whiskey. They whatever. are from Kentucky. No, it's not whatever. Bourbon is from Kentucky. Whiskey is from anywhere else. If it's made in Kentucky, it's bourbon. That's the only way you can classify yourself as bourbon. Forgive me. Fact. So, Billy. This guy. Let's talk a little bit about the color. First of all, let me ask you, do you think this is natural color or do you think it's colored? I'm guessing colored. This is natural. Is it? Apparently, from what I've read, this is actual color. I don't know where they get their barrels from, if they make them themselves or not. So, the legs are very... Still waiting. Very skinny. Very skinny. And once they start running, they run fast. Yeah. Yeah. I would call this a caramel. It's light getting, caramel. It's getting late. I don't know. Light uh, caramel. like dark, a dark gold light caramel. Like a light copper. I don't know. Um. So anyway, I picked these guys today for a specific reason. They're getting beat up. In all their reviews, they're getting beat up. And who better? Mike and Billy to test it out. Better to beat somebody up than me critiquing someone's whiskey making prowess. Right. Billy, on the smell, what are you getting? I'm going to be honest with you, not great. We're getting a little bit of caramel and vanilla. Isopropyl. I feel like I'm smelling green alcohol. There's definitely an alcohol sharpness on this one. It could, it, it maybe, uh, however long they left in the barrel, could I suggest leaving it twice as long? Perhaps. But they're At least for the nuts. Look, listen, they've been around for what, five years now? And you gotta get and this product is the out first there. thing they're selling. You gotta get so product out there. So they're in the rears for real. Okay, I get that. I get that. But it's just dead leafy. There's some alcohol sharpness. There's there's really nothing there. There's I mean, we do so many reviews about good stuff because Mike loves good scotch. And Who I doesn't? Love, you know, whatever. Who doesn't like it? So I thought we should bring you something new. Affordable. How much is this about? $35. It should be $24. Like... This is way too much for this. It's a, I tell you what, my first time looking at this bottle, it's a nice presentation. I mean, it's a cool square which, bottle. Which should immediately Thick send glass. you off. Thick glass. We have to put so much money into our bottle that clearly we're not worth it. Not always. But in this case, yes. It's kind of thing. I'm going right in. Okay, as you go in, I'll... You know what? Why don't you go in? No, you go in and I'll tell them what I think I'm picking up on this. Okay. I do get the alcohol sharpness. However, I do get a nice bourbony sweetness that I get a lot of bourbons and I'm getting vanilla, a little bit of honey and some caramel unrefined like before you start making the caramel like when they dig it out of the bucket at the fair that kind of caramel, like it's caramel eventually a again what I'm saying is this should have just been aged long that's my main takeaway from it Yeah. 
All right, let me just while you tell me what you think on the So this is what, 40-something? 40%? 40 mm -hmm. It feels like it's watered down already. Um, I get such a charcoal -y, you know, $16 Jim Beam. I hate Jim Beam. I don't know if you know that. Um, I get this weird charcoal -y, like the charcoal has been burnt to the point of it's not charcoal anymore, it's just ash. It's really, the burn is really long, but subtle. And there's just this weird wateriness, like, is this? It's thin and uns unsubstantial. Indeed, indeed. Um, oh, that's... There is alcohol burn to it. You get the burn, but you don't get the, like, am I really drinking alcohol thing? It's yeah. very, very light. Now, we just did a... Our big record at fifty-seven point one percent ABV, so I may be throwing my taste buds off. So we we did drink quite a bit of water between, but it does feel extremely insubstantial. Yeah, as compared yeah. to a lot um, of the whiskeys that we have, it feels very thin. And also, Mike, most bourbons you're going to get some sort of vanilla, you're going to get some sort of uh, caramel, sweet spice, you're going to get some sort of honey, honey you usually know, rooty, uh, deliciousy sort of, not always citrusy with the bourbons, but. You're going to get some of that just delightful wonderfulness. This is just bland. It feels to me like this is a rush product. It feels to me like rush. my grandmother cooked food and they can't eat salt or pepper. <laughs> well, I see that this isn't your favorite whiskey. Um, I will say this about it. It, uh, it is fairly easy to drink. It is easy to drink. It, even though it is a little bit sharp as far as the alcohol. Because it tastes like bite. watered down Kroger Southern Comfort. I don't think it's that bad. It's not great. It's not great. Um, I would say this is more of a whiskey that you would go to in a social situation. Maybe a mixer. Something along those lines. Go into a football Did game. Did Mike just date his? Go to a football game. Mixer. Go to see the Buckeyes. Have you been to a mixer? You want, you want to throw, throw a little bit of... Uh, Whiskey into your Coke bottle as you walk into the stadium or something like Which, that. Perhaps something along those lines. Let me ask you, did the water change anything on the smell? I mean, honestly, it, it made it... Thinner? I just said this in the exact same last video. It, it sort of softened it. Is there not much of an alcohol sting to it? No, but when you put it in your mouth, that's what she said. There is. All right, so I'm going for my secondary. Please do. So, again, new guys on a the block, they're getting beat up on every review you read, which I'm sure if you watch our video and you're that much of a nerd for alcohol, which we are, or that big of an alcoholic, which we are, you're going to re obviously get online and see what there's people saying. Would I buy this again for $35? No. No. But I appreciate what they're doing. They're the new kids on the block. I remember, I'm a gun guy. I don't know what's going on in the rest of the world. We're from Ohio. Guns are cool. That's just America. When Glock first came out, Austria, some engineer. There's a whole backstory to that you can read on the internet. Everyone said, oh, they're junk. They're junk. They're junk. Because they were the new kids on the block. And there have been people from like Colt and Smith & Wesson that have been around for four or 500 years. And they were brand new and nobody trusted them, right? Fast forward uh, 30 years. Nobody wants anything but Glock because they're perfection. This is not Glock. This is not perfection. No. That's for sure not. Billy. And I get it. Maybe they're just, and again, maybe they're just trying to get their product out there quick to make some money because they've been sitting on it for six years. Got, you got to pay the bills. Not my problem. Got to pay the bills. Five years. I'm sorry. I don't know where I'm at at this. 75 out of 100. My lowest whiskey score. I don't know if I want to score it. Thanks for bringing this to me. We have to go shitty. That way the better stuff is better. <clears throat> so. I don't even want to give it a score. Yeah, this is not something you would want to seek out of a bar, but we, I'm glad we had a, a little chance to at least try it out to see what we thought, because it does come in a nice bottle and the packaging and marketing behind it was decent. Which um, is what America's all about. What Well, unfortunately, the product does not represent what the package and the uh, advertising has done for it. Having said that, we do thank you for joining us for another one of Mike and Billy's Whiskey Reviews. Billy, we'd just like for people to like and subscribe. Maybe not this video, but our other ones. Well, why would you not like this video? We're being honest with you. 
We are being honest it. with you. And honestly, pass. What do you think? Pass? Give it a couple years, we'll review it again. Let's see what they're going to do. Like, because, again, they're a very young company. And maybe they have a future in, in, in mind. Because I remember when I opened my own, com- my own company uh, 11 years ago. I had a future in mind, but there were things I had to do early on compromise. to get to that. Exactly. You have to compromise. Exactly. got to compromise. Yeah. So we're, we'll, we'll so, revisit again. Usually we have a lot of good whiskey, so it's very obvious to us when they're, the one's not good. Right. I think that's where we're both at, Billy. Yes. Yes. We want to thank you once again for joining us for another one of Mike and Billy's Whiskey Reviews. And as always... Happy drinking.